praise the Lord, everybody. This is your brother in Christ, Dre Hill, and I am so glad to be here, and I want to invite you to the Church House Snapshot interview. And I'm excited about this one, um, like I'm always, but I'm excited because um, I'm going to be able to talk with the young man that um, has really um, had a influence on my um, musical uh, side of life as well as um, spiritual side of life and a lot of times uh, we don't know how um, what we do affects people but we just want to be able to share um, and I think you're going to be excited about this let me introduce to some of you and present to others a brother in Christ minister Keith Staten All right, my brother. Right. Praise the Lord. How you doing, man? Bless you. Good. Good. How good. are you? I'm doing great, man. Doing great. It's good to hear. Good to hear. I'm so glad, man, that you was able to, to uh, I know you here and there, you know, and just to be able to come, you know, um, thank you so much, man. Oh, man. My pleasure. Okay. Um, I, I wanted to start off by, by letting people know um, that, that um, what we do uh, when, when we say that we're Christians it really has an effect uh, and an influence on on people, and and um and I can say, um, I think it was in '82, I think that's what it was. Um, the the very first time um, I was a brand new Christian, okay. brand new Christian, um, maybe saved maybe a few months, and and um. And so at that time, um, I was working at Farmer Jack. I don't know if you remember that. I remember. <laughs> okay, right, right, yeah. right, Farmer Jack. And yeah, I, was work, I was working midnights, um, and I was uh, sweeping them off of the floor, you know, yeah. that kind of stuff. And so um, they had the music on overhead, and then I had my headphones on. Mm -hmm. And at that time, um, WMUZ, they had gospel music, but it was only like at, late at night. Right, right. And so, and so I was doing the mopping or sweeping or whatever it was I was doing. And, and I heard uh, the song come on, and the first song that I ever heard from you guys was um, Tis So Sweet. Mm. Man. <laughs> man, I cried like a baby. I mean, tears was rolling at down work? my face. At work, man. <laughs> at work, tears was rolling down my face, and, and, um, awesome. and I was trying to uh, you know, hide it from the guys and stuff, and I was like, wow, I had never heard you know, um, a style of music at that time. you know. That, that I can relate to because you know um, uh, when I came out of the world um, I was influenced by the last big person I was influenced by was Prince yeah, you know? yeah. and, and um, then before then Earth Wind and Fire and you know a lot of those guys and mm -hmm. so all that was in me and I needed you know my, my walk with Christ was serious you know yeah. and, I, yeah. and I wanted to come out all the way yeah so I needed something that I could relate to you mm -hmm. know and so when I heard that song I was like, wow. And then and then um and then I think they were doing an interview with you guys, something like that. And then the next song I heard was uh I'm going on. Okay. And then I was like, oh man, that's it. <laughs> you know? that's I'm it. Done. This is it, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is it. And from that point on, you know, I, I um, followed you guys and, and um That's and, awesome, uh, man. Yeah, the songs and, and um man they, they really helped me, you know, yeah. through some through some real tough times. I had yeah. some tough times my early um, Christian walk, but, yeah. but um, you know, and so I, I wanted to take that, you know, I, I know how it helped me, and I wanted to be able to do the same for other people, yeah. you know, so whatever God gave me, I wanted it to be, make sure it was scriptural, make sure um, mm -hmm. that it sounded mm -hmm. good, and, and, and that my life lined up with what I was singing, yeah. you know, about, yeah. and so, and so that has been my purpose, you know, um, from that point on, yeah. so. Yeah, I hear I hear that a lot. It's a lot, man. Mm -hmm. um, people saying when they first got saved, mm -hmm. and especially if they're into music, because mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. people people that are into music know that's 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 a critical part of your life. When you're right. really into music, you, right. you know, for years, and then you say all of a sudden, the quality and level of music that I enjoy, mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna lose it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's what a lot of guys are like, man. So. You know, I got in church and I didn't want to listen to secular music, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but a lot of what I was checking out wasn't touching me at all. Right, I wasn't right. feeling it, you know. And they're like, hey man, I got a hold of you guys. Mm -hmm. Commission, mm -hmm. wine ins, you know. Right, right. And yes. uh, different 
you know, Andre Crouch and mm -hmm. different artists, but mm -hmm. but uh, a lot of people say, but Commission was that real cutting edge for yeah. me, you yeah. know, that, uh, you know, really gave a sound that was contemporary mm -hmm. and real relevant, but scripturally, right. you know, Intact. the lyrics were right. just there. Absolutely. You know, I was just in talking, we had a recording uh, Friday, Mm -hmm. And then Thursday we were all together, musician, everybody, and everybody was just talking about commission. You know, mm -hmm. that seems to always happen when I get a group of <laughs> okay. musicians. Okay. okay, they go down commission, right, memory right. lane. Okay. You know, okay. yeah. but they were saying that how, man, I got saved uh, on you guys, and and it kept me through mm -hmm. college. It kept me mm -hmm. through this, and mm -hmm. you know, it was relevant, and it mm -hmm. was it was sound that was something that I could really look forward to right. to hearing, you know. Yes. So yeah, I feel you, and I, that's that's a blessing. You know, years later you look back and say, man, that was a blessing how Commission was able to really influence uh, so many people's yeah. lives. Yeah, I mean, and, and you know, and that, and I've, I've even heard, um, you know, um, interviews with, with some secular artists that said that they were influenced, you know, by Oh that, man, you know? many, many of them, many artists. That that is that is awesome. Man. Yeah, you know to have that type of um, uh, participation in in the work of God. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, that's that's awesome. Yeah, and it's it's like I said, you know, you kind of when you're doing it in commission was, you know, we got together in I think '82, so it was actually '84, '85 the first project came out. Oh, was it? Was it that late? '84, mm -hmm. oh, '85. Wow. Okay. We okay. got together in '82, and uh, but. Um, it's just like, you know, the, the influence that that music had on people and and what it did. But the thing that that the point that I'm making is is we were just young guys, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, and right. didn't realize what God was doing. Right. And, and you that, know, I, I'm still seeing it to this day. Mm -hmm, like, oh mm -hmm. wow, that's what God. You know, we just were living in it. Mm -hmm, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And didn't realize the impact, like you say, on a lot of secular artists. Right. Right. Uh, just all in between in people's lives, man. And I think when we did the reunion back in 2002, mm -hmm. I got a glimpse of it. Okay. With a lot of the okay. interviews we had to do and just mm -hmm. the people that showed up and after the concert, people just standing around talking mm -hmm. about, you know, and it was like, wow. wow. You know, God really did use these six young guys, man, mm -hmm. from Detroit, so. Yeah, I know, that's that's awesome. That's yeah. awesome. And that, that was an inspiration also, you know, to, to know that, um, you know, this is from our hometown. Yeah, you know that, too. And, and and young yeah. guys. Yeah, you know, yeah. You know that was awesome. That really loved the Lord. So yeah, actually wanted to minister. Right. Yeah, right. Now, now before then, I, I didn't know. Um, as a matter of fact, um, you know, your your um, your brother, I, I didn't I didn't know uh, anything about um, you know what church or anything you guys are from because you know I I came in um, the the church that I came in was it was not part of any organization you okay. know, it was a very small church but it was it was home mm -hmm. you know yeah you know? yeah and so um it wasn't until after i met my wife that you know i, I started hearing who was who i was like what? <laughs> you know <laughs> like you yeah, just knew yeah. the group and the music, <laughs> right 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 not personally knowing, right yeah right yeah so so now um one of the things you know with, with that being such a, a big success you know I, I know it took a lot of time you know um to to uh, develop, you know, as artists, and, and um, I, I don't know if, if they pushed the idea of, of artist or or um, uh, the, the ideal of, of um, uh, entertainment, you know. Um, mm -hmm. But but um, for me, you know, now I might have a demented way of thinking, <laughs> but, yeah. but 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 I I see it ministry yeah. uh, first. Um, and then if it is entertaining, then that's cool, yeah, you know, but, yeah, but I'm yeah. trying, you know, my, my goal is not to try to entertain, you know, um, and then possibly minister, you know, yeah. that's, you know, so, yeah. but, but to, but to, um, to get to the question I wanted to ask you, um, now when you, as you were going on, to, um, um, having a family, um, was that something that happened, um, before you, you actually got started or when you got started and how were you able to balance um, all the places you had to go yeah. and all the things you had to do and still you know um, have a family yeah well when commission first started I was like 18 okay but of course about the time we put that first project out 
you know, I was serious. You know, I was, I, I met my wife and we were, you know, dating at a young age. And about time commission came out with that first project, that was, I guess, 84, 85. Um, then I got married in 86. Okay. So I was already, you know, really serious. By the time okay. that came out and then maybe a year after that, I was engaged. Mm -hmm. And um, and I talked to my wife about it, my fiance mm -hmm. at the time, you know, well, she knew, you know, she knew that it was getting serious mm -hmm. and we were starting to re get ready to travel. And she was like, you know, we talked about it. And I said, hey, you know, if, if this going to affect us, our marriage and our life, mm -hmm. then I'm going to do it. Wow. Yeah. And she, she reminds wow. me of that to this day because she said, like, I think you were tricking me. Like, you knew I wasn't going to say don't do it. So you just did wow. that to cover yourself. Uh, but I was serious. I said, okay. you know, that's what it is. I'm, because we're looking at the reality of traveling all the time. Right, right. And then she said, but I don't want to, she said, you know, I don't want to hold you back from what I know God is doing. Mm -hmm. That's great. You know, and you are called to the nations. and mm -hmm. So... But then still, with that being said, it gets real, you know, because, mm -hmm. man, I was, you know, we got married and then um, our son was born. Uh, let me see. We got married 86, two years later, 88, you know, and so it was like, man, I was we were on the road a lot. I mean, mm -hmm. we were coming home and uh, we would be home for like two days mm -hmm. and be heading back out wow. and be gone three, four days, come back home for two mm -hmm. days, back out constantly, constantly, wow. you know, mm -hmm. and missing all the weddings and the birth, you know, okay. all the, the things okay. that you do as a fair family right. and a couple. Right. Mm -hmm. So it was, it's hard. It was kind of a hard thing to balance, but, mm -hmm. but, you know, I think what really helped us is, you know, my wife is a really godly woman and we pray together and mm -hmm. just keep the spiritual side together, okay. you That's know, good. and keep good communication, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I wish the technology now, man, you know, you can oh, yeah, yeah. really communicate yeah, just, and yeah. uh, FaceTime and all that. Right, you know? right, right. But uh, we would just really, you know, when I was in, put it this way, we spent really good quality time Okay. when I was in town. Okay. We just really spent quality time. But at the end of the day, that, that wears on you. Mm -hmm. and you have to really be, uh, God has to give you a grace for that. Okay. Um, so then when I was... You know, I went solo in like 91, I think. Okay. My son was, uh, you know, I guess about four or five, something like that. Yeah, I, I remember that. I remember that CD because I saw, I remember the picture of you holding it. Right, yeah. right. So now that you remind yeah. me that, he yeah. was younger. Yeah, he was younger. He was even younger because he was on that picture. Mm -hmm. So he was about three. Okay. But as soon as that happened, my I started traveling with him, bringing my family with me. Okay. You know, All for right. yeah, a little bit I would shoot out here, fly out, boom, 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 she mm -hmm. come back. But then once, you know, I was able to really establish it where my wife and son could travel. Oh, okay. Um, and then when he got into school, you know, he was, you know, it would be sometimes where I can't, they can't necessarily go. But then okay. we got it to where he was homeschooled. 